Okay, let's try out this week and see if we can keep our energy above 70. I hope. I hope this works. Okay, well we'll start off with an event, I guess. Finally though, it's time to get my head back in my studies. I have a few new classes this quarter, and a few continuations from last quarter. Hello? There we go. The continuations, luckily, are being taught by some of the same professors, so I don't have to learn new names this quarter. That's good. I even see a few familiar faces in class. It looks like Max is in here with me. We share a quick nod as we get seated next to each other. Oh, finally you! Can I find out what your name is, please? I keep seeing you in the uh, week stuff. I also notice another vaguely familiar face. A red-haired girl I feel like I've seen around before. Max notices me looking and follows my gaze. Yeah, I feel like I've seen her around before. Oh, looks like Roxanne got into this class as well. Huh. <laughs> oh, it's Professor Task. Before I can ask more, the professor strides into the room and throws his notes on the table in front of him. Welcome back to all of you who didn't flunk out of 101. You're not completely brain dead. Welcome to the class where you actually get started. Although I'll be lecturing, and there will be homework, the majority of your grade this quarter is going to come from a paper due at the end of the class. Of course, I'll be expecting your paper to be inclusive to the topics we've discussed in class, so don't think you can just skip my class all quarter and bullshit your way to a grade A paper. Wow. Professor Task is being really harsh right at the beginning. That being said, as some of you know, I am a tenured professor here. Which means I can indulge in more... advanced classroom techniques. If you'd like to know more about it, come see me after class for an extra credit assignment. Otherwise, open your books. I don't plan on going slowly this quarter, so try to stay awake out there. The professor drones on for the rest of the class, getting right into the new quarter's lessons. By the time class is done, I've already got a page of notes to look over tonight. Um... I guess we'll play the event. I'm pretty happy the professor is starting us up right away. It's nice to feel like he trusts our intellects to be able to keep up. I'm even pretty curious about the offer he made. I'm always happy to do, to do a little extra credit, after all. Absolutely. This could be a way to get ahead this quarter. I pack up my things along with the other students, but instead of heading out the door, I head over to the professor. Hey, Anne. Max! Surprised to see you in this class. I transferred over this quarter, actually. I'd heard the professor was... interesting, <laughs> to say the least. Well, he's still a college professor. What's the worst he could do? Please, I am a tenured professor! I could order you to fight to the death! And the worst I'd get from the Dean is a sigh and a frown. And he'd apologize for sighing. The professor looks over the volunteers. Other than Max, I see a few other classmates I recognize from around campus. Is this it? I suppose I shouldn't have expected more. The professor scans the potentials with obvious disdain in his eyes. Alright, I know some of you here are looking to skate out of my class on Easy Street. I'm pretty sure he looked at Max when he said that. And there's no way I'm going to let you do so without a little entertainment for me. Therefore, what I'm proposing is simple. You're going to get together in groups. There are enough of you here to make three groups of two. Go ahead. Take a few moments and choose your partner. I'll pick up a few other suck students later. Mm. We all look at each other for a few moments. Max and I look at each other, shrugging our shoulders. Suddenly, the red-haired student I could swear I'd met before comes over to me. <laughs> what voice to give you? Hmm... Hello, it's Han, isn't it? Yeah, hi. I'm sorry, do I know you? I don't think we've properly met. I'm Roxanne. I met some of your roommates last Halloween. Oh. Nice to meet you. You as well, Anne. I was actually wondering if you would like to be my partner for this activity. Oh. Uh, I was thinking I'd pair it with my friend there. I just realized we're wearing like the same outfit. Max looks between Roxanne and me. Yeah, I thought we'd partner up. 
Roxanne looks over Max for a moment, as though she's sizing them up. Them? I think you will find me the superior partner for this endeavor. Whoa, I may not be the smartest nail in the box, but I know Anne is. If anyone's riding her success train, it's gonna be me. I think he just made my case for me. I have no intention of not pulling my own weight. I think it should be obvious that I will make the better partner. Come on, Anne, let's ditch her and get on with the lesson. I'm not really caring for Max's attitude on this one, and I'm not doing his route anyway. Roxanne looks like she could be an intellectual equal, and we are looking for friends. I'm sorry if I get negative points with you, Max, but not this time. I look at Max for a moment before I shake my head. Max, you know we'd be in this together, right? No, you don't, do you? You'll never learn anything if you're with me. You'll be down the hall bugging me all the time, wouldn't you? It's best if you have a different partner, so you have to put some effort in, I think. Max frowns at me. It was a joke, Anne. Come on. I just shake my head at him. He throws his arms in the air in frustration and stalks off to talk to one of the other students. Sorry. Sorry, Max. Roxanne watches him go for just a moment before turning back to me. That was definitely the right choice. Okay, are we all sorted? Good. Here's how it works, kiddies. Kiddies? Your partner and your study buddies. Your grades are intertwined. Once all the assignments are turned in, and the tests are done, you'll both get the average of your two grades. Okay. <clears throat> However, if one of you gets tired of all that working, just come to me and ask for the answers to the final. I'll give them to you. You'll pass the class, and you won't have to do any of the other work. Here's the rub. If one of you comes to me, and the other doesn't, then the one who didn't an ask for the answers will automatically fail the class. But if you both come to me, you get C's. Simple as that. Do you work together and hope you're smart enough to do it? Do you pray that your partner didn't decide to cheat? Do you take your C's and call it a day? Chew on that. Now get out of my class, I have things to do. <laughs> and with that, Professor Task just walks away from us. Most of us are left looking Google uh, goggle eyed at each other. Oh my god, the prisoner's dilemma? Can he do that? I might fail? What have I gotten myself into? Either way, I guess I'll have to keep an eye on Roxanne. It's also kind of connected to that questionnaire thing he had to sign earlier. Like, if you could get all the answers to the test without any um, chance of you getting caught, would you do it? I'm going to have to stick to my guns, I guess. And not cheat. Okay, energy's back up. Hey, it's Chad. Hmm. Learning, learning. Another event. So early in the new quarter, and I've already got a ton of work to do. I wasn't expecting college to ramp up so quickly. I'll have to work just as hard to keep up with it all. Which is why I decided to take care of eating quickly and efficiently here at the cafe while I get some extra study time in. Is that going to be it for you? This will be fine. Thanks, Isabella. If I need anything else, I'll let you know. See that you do, hon. She smiles at me as she walks away, swaying her hips. Her work outfit is actually quite cute on her. Indeed. I crack open the first book and start reading. I'm trying to read and eat at the same time, so it's starting off a bit slowly. That can be difficult. I'm starting to get into it, though, when the door opens and one of my classmates walks in. <laughs> Carmen. Anne! Oh, hey! I didn't know you'd be over here. Um, I'm not just going to ignore Carmen. Oh, hey, Carmen. Already have work to do. Can you believe it? <laughs> I know, right? Carmen takes the seat across from me, slinging her own bag down next to her. There are enough books that it lands heavily. I'm just trying to get a head start on things. This looks like it's going to be a long quarter. Have to prioritize. I hear you. I've got a bag full of books I have to start reading tonight. It's kind of crazy. It's nice, though. The challenge is exhilarating. Huh. I shouldn't be surprised to hear you say that. It's no wonder you got the highest grade in our class last quarter. Wow. What? You must have done pretty well for yourself, too, right? Oh, I did okay. But nowhere near as well as you. You're super smart, Anne. <laughs> Please. 
She's being very nice, but I know she was probably just behind me on the grading curve. She pulls one of her books out of her bag and opens it. We chat amicably for a bit while we both idly go over our lessons. We're also wearing the same outfit, I just realized. Well, aren't you two getting along famously? Oh, hey, Isabella. Do you know Carmen? She's one of my classmates. Carmen? Isabella, one of my roommates. Nice to meet you, Isabella. I've seen you come in a few times. Nice to meet you formally. Get you anything? Just a black coffee, please. Sure thing. Isabella eyes Carmen a little cautiously as she goes off to get the coffee. Why does she not need caffeine? Carmen and I chat a bit more. Carmen seems really interested in what I've been up to. She got she get she gets really excited as we chat. Oh, what the heck? We're both shocked as Isabella thumps the coffee down on the table. Careful, Anne. Carmen here might try to kidnap you at this rate. Um. <laughs> I don't know. I don't understand what that means. Poke fun at Isabella? Ooh, will you take me on an adventure? Isabella is boring and just wants to take me back to the house. Let's go to Vegas. What? I don't... I mean, I wouldn't. What? <laughs> and Isabella laughs and I can't help but giggling a little. <laughs> Better yet, let's go on a pirate ship. I'm sorry. Did I? That a girl, hun. Dream big. <laughs> Isabella is still laughing as she walks away. I didn't poke fun at Carmen and yet Carmen is so upset now. Sorry, Isabella just likes to tease me. I have to tease her back sometimes or she'll be relentless. Oh, we got relationship with Isabella. Carmen starts to breathe again, not looking nearly as flustered. Oh my goodness. We eat and study with each other for a bit longer, enjoying each other's company before she decides to pack it in and head out. I should probably get going as well, so I scoot out the door behind her. We wave goodbye as we go our separate ways. Interesting. Naps back up. What time is it? Nap time. I like it. Oh, there's uh, Roxanne. A physical copy. Hmm. Taking care of business. Learning stuff. Sleeping's good. Learning grades. Another event. I'm a little surprised the house is so quiet. I know it's only the first week back, but I was half expecting a big party tonight or something. I wander out of my room to grab a quick uh, snack. I guess it's going to be a quiet night. Or not. What? No, that's stupid. We're going to watch my show. My movie is not stupid. It is fantastic. I think that your movie might be the one that is steeped in stupidity. Ah, uh, there it is. I knew the Latin House crew wouldn't let me down. I head downstairs and sneak past the couch towards the kitchen. It looks like Sally, Isabella, and Rakesh are arguing over what to watch on the big screen tonight. I make my way into the kitchen for that light snack while I debate if I want to join in or not. Uh, I managed to sneak in. I think I'll just quietly sneak my way out. Look, I'm not trying to say you had the worst taste in movies. Okay, actually that might be what I'm saying. Let me read the back of that case again. You've read it enough. Let us just watch it, and you will see how good it is. It's better than your silly soap opera. Soap opera? How dare you! Now you have to watch it to make up for insulting me! On second thought, maybe I was too hasty. Quiet is very underrated. I grab a few things out of the fridge and sneak my way back upstairs before any more antics can go on. I'm not really interested in getting in the middle of their fight. Not this time, anyway. Studying like crazy. <laughs> Level up! Yay! And more studying. Physics class job unlocked. Interesting. Um, okay, let's look at our stats. Okay, we've got our organized up a bit, up to where we need it. We need to raise our rationale some more. Now, is there any other... Let's see what the physics gives us. Hmm. So that gives us more rational. 
Hmm. Hmm. Where else am I? Should I keep one? Maybe I should just do a couple of physics class jobs. Oops. <laughs> Sitting on my recording thing. That's not good. Okay. Should we try that? Hmm. Should I add any more sleeps in? I mean, this is okay. Yeah, let's try it. See what happens. Alright, a new event. Finally time for a new class. I haven't actually met this professor yet. Oh, that should be interesting. I hope she's a good one. I've been looking forward to taking this class. I've got my female teacher voice already. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> and she certainly can't be any weirder than some of my other professors. I beg to differ. As the final chime sounds, the professor walks in and steps up to the podium at the front of class. <laughs> professor Merriweather. Perfect. Greetings, all! I'm Professor Merriweather. Welcome to Intro to Anatomy. I'm not one for standing on ceremony, and you're all here to learn, so let's get right to it, shall we? For starters, let's get a couple of you down here for an example. Any volunteers? Um, sure. I'll do it. I'm a little nervous, but I stick my hand in the air. It's always good to get yourself out there as a go-getter student. Precisely. Okay, you there. Your name? Anne, ma'am. Good, good. Come down here and stand over there. I start heading down the aisle to stand slightly to the left of the teacher. All right, let's see. Who else we've got? Yes, yes, right there, Anne. Who else? Ah, Butch. Please come to the front of the class. Your name's Butch? <laughs> your name does not match your face, sir. A rather small guy with thick glasses approaches the front of the class. I had requested that you use my middle name, Terence. Please, Professor. Yeah, Terence suits you a lot better. <laughs> she looks so upset. I think I recognize this guy. Maybe from Halloween? Either way, he seems pretty upset. I kind of re I've recognized him from the bookstore a couple times. Oh, what an um interesting name. I wouldn't have expected that. The poor thing looks pretty flustered. Clearly he's not happy about the name. Don't blame him. <coughs> Excuse me. Choking. This is why I go by my middle name. Nobody ever thinks I'm a butch. Sorry, no nicknames. It's not a nickname, though. But, moving on. Butch, you stand to my left. <laughs> Isn't that her? Oh, no, it is her left. Butch grumbles, but stands to her left. So, anatomy! We've all got it! This is an intro to it! I'm assuming all of you took a high school biology class, yes? I don't have to start with the basics? These are two humans? You got that? Alright! You can never tell what the state of public schools these days. So, let's start talking a little bit about the differences between men and women. We're going to get in-depth into some of these topics later in the course. But right now, it's good to understand which aspects are universal and which aren't. Just from the looking at them, the standard differences are apparent. You can see the young lady here, who was apparently rather lucky in puberty, also sports the larger child-bearing pelvic bone. That's just basic sexual dimorphism. Uh-huh. I can't believe she just said that in front of everybody. I'm probably blushing pretty badly, but I managed to stay quiet at least. Oh, I'm sorry, Anne, for getting you into this. The professor continues on like that for most of the hour, talking about the differences between the two of us, where evolution likely played a part, what parts are most likely holdovers from our oldest times. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it would probably have been a fascinating lecture if I didn't have to be a living doll for her to point at the whole hour. Finally, she gestures for Butch and me to sit down. We head back to our seats as she finishes up our lecture. When the bell rings, everyone flies out a little overwhelmed. A little. Oh, Anne! Butch! Come here a moment, would you? Damn, I was almost out, too. Thanks for being my guinea pigs today. It's always nice to have volunteers. Oh, I'm glad to see you stuck to 102, Butch. Yes, well, I need the credits, Professor Merriweather. 
I hope I can count on you both to volunteer to help me in the future. Um, sure, just don't point to my childbearing hips, please. Um, well, I'm always happy to help, Professor. Though, I don't know how comfortably... Comfortably? <laughs> comfortable I'll be standing in front of your classes. Especially if you're going to be describing me all the time. Oh no, no. Mostly, I'll probably be using you to demonstrate muscle movements and such. It's so much easier to understand on a live person. I'm sure you'll be fine. Plus, it means you'll get that much closer to the education. You seem sharp. I think you'll pick things up nicely. Alright, go on. I'll see you next time. As we leave, Butch gives me a shrug and a long-suffering sigh. Hmm. <sighs> I know what he means. This is going to be a long quarter. That was nice to meet another teacher. That was good. A quick four-hour nap. That's exactly the kind of nap I take. Alright, I think that's everything off of my reading list for this quarter. Hmm. The Brain for Dummies. Idiot's Guide to Anatomy and My Big Book of the Body. <laughs> ah, Professor Merriweather really doesn't think much of us, does she? Oh well, at least that's all done. Time to head home and get down to reading them, I guess. Should be at least be a quick read. So then I totally sacked him. I must have sent him flying like 40 feet, right? <laughs> then he gets up and he's all, Where's my bed? I think I need a nap. <laughs> oh wow, apparently Chad and Isabella are out on the town as well. I have to admit, I'm not sure what exactly she sees in Chad. Besides the muscles, maybe. Maybe this is a chance to find out? Then again, there's no need to be a stalker. Yeah, don't, don't be a stalker, Anne. That's not cool. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go home. Whatever she sees in Chad is no business of mine. After all, I could always just ask her. There you go. I head back to Latin House and haul up in my room with my basic anatomy books. They really are the most basic of books. Hopefully we'll get more advanced reading as the quarter goes on. Later that evening... Evening? Later that evening, I hear Isabella and Sally come in through the door laughing about something. <laughs> I guess something happened out there today. Oh well. Living in ignorance, I guess. Slinging books. And a hundred dollars just put it on my tab. What? <laughs> yeah, what? I guess that went pretty well. Question mark? Oh good, I'm going to need that nap. My nap! <laughs> it's a quiet afternoon as I head back to my room from the bathroom. I wonder if everyone else has gone somewhere. No, Mama, mis classes van bien. Oh, I guess not. Isabella's door is open. Looks like she's putting away laundry while she talks to her mom, I guess. That would be Mama. Los muchachos me tratan bien. Me estoy diver divirtiendo aquí. Si estoy trabajando muy duro en mis estudios. Tienen una buena programa para maestros aquí. I'm sorry if my Spanish isn't quite perfect. I haven't spoken it in a long time. <laughs> She's obviously pretty deep in conversation. I don't know what's going on, but I don't know if I should bother her. Of course, just as I'm thinking that, that's when she makes eye contact. Luckily, she smiles and waves at me. I'm still not sure if I should go in or not. Um, sure. I take it as a sign that she doesn't mind a bit of company and walk into her room. See, sí, me, uh... Si mi titulo servía ahí, tendrán que dejar que trabaje. She looks up again to see that I've entered and grins almost gratefully at me. Oh, mis compañeros acaban de regresa regresar. De regresar. My goodness. Ya me voy, mamá. Te amo también. Suidate. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, don't worry about it. Just my mom checking up on me. Making sure I'm still studying, that I didn't run away with any strange boys, or strange girls. <laughs> so what's up, cutie? Oh, I was just passing by and thought I'd say hi. Not many people around this afternoon. It's true, that's why I'm doing laundry today. Easier to keep Max out of my hair while I put away my underwear. <laughs> nice. <laughs> we both snicker as she continues to put her laundry away. Suddenly she holds up a pair of lacy, nearly see-through panties. Case in point. Ooh, I bet these would look fantastic on you. You should try them on. I promised to only layer a little. 
What? No way. Those are way too lazy for me. I don't think I could wear anything like that. I'd die of embarrassment. What? No way. Come on, with that cute ass in these. Oh, you could drive a girl wild. Just a second. My air is really itchy. Oh. Goodness. I don't know why my ear was so itchy all of a sudden. I blush at the compliment, even though I know she's teasing me. She's actually been teasing me for a while now. Hey, Isabella, can I ask you something? Why do you always tease me with this kind of sexy stuff? I'm a tease, baby. It's how I flirt. That's what I'm talking about. Teasing me like you're flirting with me. Have you not put two and two together yet, hon? I am flirting with you. I've been telling you practically since day one, girl. I think you're cute as a button. What? But... But... You have a boyfriend. Oh, Chad's fun and all, but he's a fling. I'll stick with him while he's fun. I'm looking forward to eventually settling down with the right person. But for now, I'm just... Um... I heard this once. What was it? Sowing my oats? That's it. You don't have any oats to sow. But, I mean, you have a boy friend. Why hit on me? You really are sheltered, aren't you, girl? It's called being pansexual. I have to admit, back home we only had the one gay kid in class. Some of the parents in town were angry at him, but he always seemed so nice I could never see the point of not liking him. Still, we don't really have the same classes, so I almost never ran into him. I did a little bit of research on the terms on the internet at the time. It was a couple years ago, though. I thought I was gay, lesbian, or bisexual. Do you mean you're bisexual? Nah, Rakesh is bisexual. I'm definitely pansexual. It's like being bisexual, except that I also don't care what genitals you've got. Oh. So... So I flirt with you, you adorable thing, because I like you. Oh. <laughs> How long she's known? How long she's known that she's pansexual, or...? Huh? How can she be with just one... Huh? I... I don't know that. <laughs> okay. I still... I don't really understand, but okay. Okay, yeah, that is what I'm asking. So, when did you figure out you were into both boys and girls? Well, it kind of came over me slowly. I mean, the thing is, I always thought girls were cute. I just also thought boys were cute. Growing up, I was supposed to like boys, you know? Mama used to call me her pequeña rump rompe corazones. Little heartbreaker. But I also liked girls. It took me until high school to figure out that I didn't actually have to choose. That I was perfectly capable of liking both. Did you have a girlfriend in high school? Yeah, but I still liked boys, and so did she. It was just kind of an experiment for her. Luckily, she was pretty upfront about it, and since it was a secret relationship, we broke up with no hard feelings. Wow, you sound like you know yourself pretty well. I'm almost a little jealous. I've had a few years, yeah, but I haven't got everything figured out yet. Which is why I'm still trying to mess around and have fun while I'm here at college, you know? Yeah, I understand that. I... I think you've got a good idea, Isabella. Huh, <laughs> thanks, cutie. Wow, we learned something new about Isabella, didn't we? She likes to flirt with anything that moves. Kind of like pastel. <laughs> Hi, Chad. She's going to leave you at some point, buddy. I should have gone to sleep. My energy is so low. At least it went back up a bit. Anyway, nothing Dominic related, but plenty of Isabella stuff and crazy professor stuff going on, so that was interesting. Hopefully we see Dominic soon, though.